as the old saying goes, curiosity killed the cat by latching onto its face and suffocating it to death. But alien face huggers aren't real. Whatever. Or are they? Why is this Korean delicacy so dangerous? And what does it have to do with zombie tentacles? Your sex life? A murder trial? And chewing like your life depends on it? Try not to squirm your way out of watching this video. This episode might just save your life. This is Sanachi. Is there anything more alien looking than an octopus? Well, besides aliens. Most people wouldn't even dream of touching one, let alone putting a live one in their mouth. But in South Korea, it's considered a delicacy. Sanachi is a raw serving of live, uncooked octopus. Don't let its tiny size fool you. These little mollusks kill approximately six people each year. But it's not their fault. It's extremely dangerous to eat sanakji. The octopus is so fresh, its tentacles are still moving when it hits your plate. Their zombie tentacles keep squirming for several minutes after death. And their suction cups can latch onto the inside of your throat if you're not careful. Eee. Eh, that's okay. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. So why on earth would you take that risk? Sanachi is high in protein, omega-3, and taurine, an amino acid that can improve physical performance. Kendo warriors ate Sanachi to improve their physical strength. And rumor has it that this little octopus can have a big impact on your libido. Stocking up. But what does it taste like? Sanachi doesn't have much of a taste, but its rubbery texture, gelatin-like consistency, and the way it moves inside your mouth can be, oh, I don't know, let's say overwhelming just a tad. So if these tentacles only kill you because you were stupid or brave enough to put them in your mouth, why did we mention a murder trial? In 2010, a woman in South Korea collapsed after eating Sanakji. She had a blockage in her throat. The woman was rushed to the hospital, but she died 16 days later. Ah, so the tentacles that got stuck in her throat. Case closed, you say. Not so fast, you. The woman's boyfriend became a primary suspect since he bought her the octopus. And now the plot thickens. The woman made her boyfriend the sole beneficiary of her hefty life insurance policy just before she died. Classic. Needless to say, it seemed a little <clears throat> fishy. The boyfriend was convicted of murder. However, the Supreme Court let him go free due to insufficient evidence. So how can you fend off these grasping tentacles? By chewing like your life depended on it, because it does. The key to surviving your dinner date with Sanakji is to chew excessively. The chef may give you a little help and cut the octopus into very small pieces, but it's still on you to chew thoroughly. So even when you think you've chewed it enough, chomp on it some more. Hmm, what other foods can kill me, you wonder? Well, check out why you should never eat a raw cashew nut next on Origins of Food. <laughs>